how much do we really know about space? This magnitude has allowed many aspects to go unknown since humans first left Earth and experienced life outside our planet. Astronauts have ventured where very few have been, but some of them have come out and spoke about some of the interesting things they witnessed while in space. Now it's important to note that NASA has said they've never seen or captured a UFO, and that every UFO witnessed in space can be explained as space debris or camera anomalies. But it seems that some astronauts would disagree with this statement, as some have come forward and detailed their strange encounters that led them to believe that something more mysterious was going on. One of these individuals that came forward even though he was advised not to was that of Edgar Mitchell. Edgar Mitchell was the sixth person to walk on the moon's surface. He piloted the Apollo 14 lunar module, the first Apollo mission attempting to carry out scientific experiments on the moon. The crew spent nine hours working in the Framora Highlands region. Despite being one of the lucky few to have experienced the wonders of spaceflight, Mitchell may be known more prominently among the space community due to his outspoken theories on UFOs and alien life. Mitchell grew up in America among the space race, a mere teenager when the suspected Roswell UFO crash occurred in 1947. Mitchell himself did not live far from the site of the infamous crash. He went on to say the following about Roswell. The truth about it is that it's real. I was there when the Roswell incident took place. I was on my way to college and just graduated high school. One day it was in the Roswell Daily Record which was a newspaper in Roswell, about an alien spacecraft that had crashed, and the next day that it had been denied by the Air Force, saying that it was a weather balloon. Many years later after I'd been to the moon and came back, I went to Roswell to give lectures, talks and meet people I knew since I was a kid. Many of the people I knew along with descendants of the people who have been involved in the Roswell crash told me their stories. He claimed to have talked with the son of an undertaker who said his father provided small coffins to the military and was told not to tell anyone about it. He pursued a military career joining the US Navy as a pilot in 1948 and was selected by NASA in 1966 to become an astronaut. However, it was towards the end of Mitchell's career and after his retirement that he became the focus of discussion about the potentially paranormal events that occurred out in space and those that he himself had experienced. It was during the Apollo 14 mission unbeknownst to the world that things began to get a little wood with Edgar Mitchell. After experiencing what he described as a spirit above the creator, Mitchell became ever more interested in the paranormal phenomenon and consciousness. He began to conduct ESP experiments, experimenting with psychic abilities such as telepathy on board the Apollo 14 module. Chillingly, Mitchell's experience did seem to have an effect on him. He and a group of psychics later alleged that he shared mental communications whilst he was in orbit. He later founded the Institute of Noetic Sciences, which continued the experiments he had been conducting in private and in space. During his lifetime, Mitchell consistently testified to the existence of UFOs. In 1966, in an interview on the American TV program Dateline, Mitchell stated that UFO contact is very strong, and that the US government was covering up alien visits and UFO crashes. The subject of UFOs in space isn't slowing down either. In fact, there's many that believe these unidentified flying objects can be seen when looking at the International Space Station. The International Space Station is a large spacecraft that can be found in orbit around our planet. Over the years, astronauts have called this place home. It also serves as a science laboratory where various experiments are being carried out. The station was the work of various countries, and since being placed in space, many nations have sent their astronauts to stay on board, and incredibly, many parts of it were assembled in space by the astronauts themselves. It's not as deep in space as some people might think though. It orbits our planet at an altitude of approximately 250 miles. There's various international space station cameras that give the public a chance to look out into the cosmos. 
However, every so often someone manages to record something that they can't explain. Some of the most commonly shaped UFOs that are seen on the cameras include that of the triangle and disc. This caused UFO researchers to spend countless hours watching their life cams in the hopes of finding something. And in some cases, amateur researchers have discovered strange objects off into the distance, which is then followed by the cameras mysteriously being shut off. Going back a top official of a secret government program whose task it was to investigate UFO sightings, came forward with some bold claims. They told several media outlets that extraterrestrial life may exist. They further said that millions of dollars has been put into the research of exotic technologies affiliated with unidentified aerial phenomena. These headlines caught the attention of many around the world, as for many years people have been coming forward with their encounters with mysterious lights in the sky. Some have said if you're going to believe any reports of UFOs, you might as well trust those coming from the men who have actually been to space. The list of those who have made claims of sightings includes Edgar Mitchell as we just mentioned, Caddy Coleman and Dr. Brian O'Leary. Buzz Aldrin has also spoke of his own experience while on board the Apollo 11, when they saw something flying alongside them. At first they thought it was the final stage of the detached rocket, until Mission Control confirmed it was 6,000 miles away from them. Former NASA astronaut Dr. Brian O'Leary said the following, There is abundant evidence that we're being contacted, that civilizations have been visiting us for a very long time, that their appearance is bizarre from any kind of traditional materialistic Western point of view, that these visitors use the technology of consciousness. They use toroids, they use co-rotating magnetic discs for their propulsion systems. This seemed to be a common denominator of the UFO phenomenon. End quote. So what do you make of these interesting claims? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.